What a difference three weeks makes. Remember that game down in Columbia? UK couldn't hit water if they fell out of a boat. Tonight, same teams, different venue. The result speaks for itself. It took Kentucky 37 minutes to hit a three in the first matchup. UK had a little party in downtown from downtown. Hami Diallo had been shooting 8% from deep in his last seven. He hits, then Kevin Knox. No eligibility issues tonight. Left wing tickles the twine. Quade Green's turn. Hip, hip. Quade. Five different cats hit first half threes. UK shoots eight of ten as a team from deep. And you know what's better than threes? Some dunks. SGA, the lob. Jared Vanderbilt, the slam. Then SGA from half court. PJ, the slam. And then Hami. Fast break. How about a little showtime? Here he goes. Watch him fly. Cats up 44 to 32 at intermission. Look who's back in town. The 78 champs. They're honored. Rupp celebrates the past and then it's back to the present. Kevin Knox, the deflection and an easy cruise to the bucket. That's what it was tonight. They were cooking. Jared Vanderbilt, beautiful post move. And then Kevin Knox. Off a curl, got the jumper to go. He led the way with 21 points. Kentucky led by double digits the entire second half. Jared Vanderbilt, his first career double-double. Nice night for the Cats. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. UK wins. Alan Cutler is a happy man, and he has more from Ruff. Charlie, the first time these two teams played, Kentucky couldn't throw it in the ocean against Missouri. 2 of 20. In the first half tonight, they were 8 of 10. They hit 10 of 16 from downtown tonight, 63%. Kevin Knox led six Kentucky players in double figures. He had 21, and Jared Vanderbilt, wow, 11 points and 15 rebounds, a total team effort. Scrambling now. Now, all of a sudden, there's effort plays we're making. Out of nowhere, a guy's covering for another guy. What happens when that's your team and you can trust each other? You can risk more. And the more you can risk, the better you're going to be, especially turning people over, getting some breakouts, and getting some free baskets. But no one will risk if they think they're on the court by themselves. I'm just going to guard my man. I'm not going to help anybody. No one's helping me. And it's really difficult when you play that way. This team, we did for a while. This team is beginning to know that we got to do this together. We got to be about each other. Two things happened tonight. One, Kentucky won. But here's the second thing they won and they still got better. They still have to get a lot better if it's going to be a happy march. But the trend is going in a great direction. Alan Cutler, LEX, 18 Sports. The Cats are down to just a pair of games. Ole Miss at home on Wednesday and then Florida to finish the season should be a W when we talk about the Ole Miss game Florida winners today against Auburn and then Tennessee took down Ole Miss today so those are the cappers to the regular season and here's what we have in the SEC top four get a double bye in the tournament UK needs to take care of business to do that but overall they look to be in pretty good shape According to records dating back to 1980, Macy Morris is the only Kentucky player to score 20-plus points in five consecutive games against SEC foes. They'll need that in tomorrow's matchup with Mississippi State. Before the game, they will honor the seniors. And Coach Mitchell's only request to his team, play hard for them. Really the only thing that I ever do that might be any different is I do make that day... Um, about those seniors and 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 um, just try to put everybody in their shoes. How would how how would you want people competing for you on that day when when you're being honored? 